Shag Harry Richardson has been lighting up the track with jaw-dropping speeds, recently clocking an incredible 10.65 seconds in the 100 meters. With her vibrant personality and unbeatable determination, she's quickly become the face of sprinting, drawing comparisons to legends like Flo Jo. As she heads into the 2024 Paris Olympics, the big question on everyone's mind is, can she not only win gold, but also challenge the long-standing world records? Shakari Richardson's journey to becoming one of the world's top sprinters is a compelling story of resilience, determination, and undeniable talent. Like many athletes, she faced significant challenges early in her career, but some particularly tough setbacks marked her path. Good. I'm always gonna feel good. I'm always gonna, no matter what, just come out and present my best. So I think when I'm there and I'm preparing for the meet. In 2021, Richardson seemed poised to make a splash at the Tokyo Olympics. She had captured the nation's attention with her vibrant personality, colorful hair, and most importantly, her blazing speed. However, just as she was about to step onto the world stage, she faced an unexpected obstacle, a positive test for marijuana. This result led to a suspension that kept her out of the Tokyo Games, a heartbreaking moment for her and her fans. The incident sparked widespread debate and reflection on the rules and standards applied to athletes. But for Richardson, it was a deeply personal setback. Champion in 2021, Shakari Richardson. And even though this race was slated as one of the big highlights, despite this major disappointment, Richardson didn't let it define her. She took time to reflect, regroup, and refocus her energy. The real turning point came in 2023, when she made an incredible comeback at the World Championships in Budapest. This event was her opportunity to prove that she was not just a flash in the pan, but a serious contender in the world of track and field. Richardson stunned the world by winning the 100 meters in a blistering time of 10.65 seconds a performance that not only silenced her critics, but also solidified her status as one of the fastest women in the sport. This victory was a testament to her hard work, resilience, and the support system around her, including her coach, Dennis Mitchell, and her dedicated training partners. What truly stands out about Richardson's story is how she has transformed herself both on and off the track. Beyond her physical training, she has also worked on her mental and emotional well-being, a crucial aspect of any athlete's success. Richardson has often spoken about the importance of mental health, sharing her struggles and the steps she's taken to grow stronger. This holistic approach to her career has been instrumental in her rise to prominence. Uh, Shakari Richardson is top ranked in the world in the 100 meter. She has the best time in the world in the 100 meter this year, just set it at trials uh, this weekend. She's expected to uh, be a gold medal favorite in Paris, and so is Noah Lyles in that same event. We have not seen an American man. Now, as we look towards the 2024 Paris Olympics, Richardson is not just another competitor. She's a top contender for the gold medal. Her journey from the lows of 2021 to the triumphs of 2023 and beyond is a narrative of redemption and growth. It's a story that resonates with many people, not just because of her athletic prowess, but also because of her authenticity and courage in facing challenges head on. Earned a ticket to Tokyo with that dramatic victory in the women's one. When it comes to Shakari Richardson's performance on the track, there's a lot to admire, especially her blistering speed in the 100 meters. What sets her apart is the way she accelerates between 60 and 70 meters into the race, hitting a top speed of 39.6 kilometers per H, about 24.6 miles per hour. This kind of speed is simply astonishing and showcases not just her raw power, but also her impeccable technique. In the world of sprinting, the first 60 meters are crucial for building momentum, but it's the latter part of the race where champions are made. Richardson's ability to maintain and even increase her speed in this phase is what gives her an edge. Her top speed of 39.6 kilometers per H is something that only a few sprinters in history have managed to achieve. To put this into perspective, in the 2021 Prefontaine Classic, Elaine thompson Hera reached a top speed of just over 40 kilometers per H during her 10.54 second run, which was one of the fastest recorded times ever. While Richardson hasn't quite hit that mark, she's incredibly close, 
which is impressive given the competition. Comparing Richardson's technique and speed with other top sprinters like Elaine Thompson Hera reveals some fascinating insights. Elaine's race in 2021 was characterized by an explosive start and a flawless transition to her top speed, maintaining it until the finish line. Richardson, on the other hand, has shown a slightly different strength, her ability to sustain and build her speed as the race progresses. This quality makes her especially formidable in the final stretch of the race, where she can outpace competitors who might be tiring. Her running form is also noteworthy, with a relaxed yet powerful stride that maximizes her efficiency and speed. This efficient use of energy is crucial in sprinting, where even the slightest dip in form can cost valuable milliseconds. Behind this remarkable speed and technique is a rigorous training regime, guided by her coach, Dennis Mitchell. Richardson's training focuses not only on her physical capabilities, but also on her mental toughness and race strategy. With a background as a former Olympic sprinter himself, Mitchell brings a wealth of experience to Richardson's training. He emphasizes the importance of explosive power and sustained speed, ensuring that Richardson can maintain her incredible pace throughout 100 meters. This holistic approach to training includes everything from sprint drills and strength conditioning to mental visualization techniques. Richardson's training environment also plays a crucial role in her success. She trains alongside top athletes like Melissa Jefferson and Twanisha Terry, creating a competitive yet supportive atmosphere. This camaraderie and the shared pursuit of excellence push each athlete to their best. Richardson has often spoken about how her training partners and the entire team hold each other accountable, which helps them all improve. Shakari Richardson is more than just a phenomenal sprinter. She's a vibrant personality that stands out in the world of sports. When she steps onto the track, there's an undeniable energy that she brings with her, one that is both bold and unapologetic. Her flamboyant style, with bright hair colors and confident demeanor, often draws comparisons to the legendary Florence Griffith Joyner, or Flojo, who is known not only for her record-breaking speed, but also for her iconic fashion and flair. Richardson, like Flojo, isn't afraid to express herself, whether through her vibrant look or her confident attitude. It's this combination of style and substance that makes her such a captivating figure in athletics. Off the track, Richardson's impact extends far beyond her athletic achievements. She's been remarkably candid about her challenges, including her struggles with grief and mental health. After the passing of her biological mother and the subsequent fallout from her suspension before the Tokyo Olympics, Richardson didn't shy away from discussing the pain she felt and how she coped. This openness has endeared her to many, as she presents a refreshingly authentic image in a world where athletes often maintain a carefully curated public persona. Richardson advocates for authenticity, urging others to be true to themselves and not to hide behind facades. Her message resonates strongly, particularly with younger fans who look up to her as a role model for resilience and self-expression. However, this authenticity and boldness have also made Richardson a polarizing figure. While many admire her for her talent and courage, others criticize her for the very qualities that her supporters find inspiring. Some detractors point to her outspoken nature and flamboyant style as distractions or even disrespectful to the sport's traditions. Despite this, Richardson remains unapologetic. She continues to speak her mind and express herself freely, both on and off the track. This fearless approach has made her a symbol of defiance and strength especially in how she handles criticism and controversy. Public perception of Richardson is a complex mix of admiration and controversy, reflecting her status as one of the most talked about athletes in recent years. Her fans see her as a breath of fresh air, someone who is shaking up the often conservative world of track and field. They appreciate her willingness to be vulnerable and real, to talk openly about issues like mental health and personal loss. This connection with her audience is one of her greatest strengths, allowing her to transcend the sport and become a cultural icon. Critics, meanwhile, often focus on her mistakes, such as the marijuana suspension, and use them to question her professionalism or commitment. 
But even these criticisms highlight an underlying fascination with her, as few athletes generate as much discussion and debate as Richardson does. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.